Good morning. Thank you for tuning in on this Monday morning. Hope you guys had a great ha happy Halloween weekend because we sure did. I'm Priscilla Dela Cruz. And I'm Wayne Harrison. A Huntington Beach man will serve a four-year prison sentence after pleading guilty to a hate crime. John DeLoke, a Caucasian man, attacked another Caucasian man. He thought he believed to be an inter racial relationship with an African-American woman. The incident began when DeLoke saw a 22-year-old African-American woman through a store window of a Huntington Beach market. He then drove his 2001 black Lincoln sedan up to the store and cranked up the volume of his radio, which was playing anti-African-American lyrics. Later on that day, DeLoke was visiting a friend at an apartment when he came across the same woman walking down the street with her 26-year-old ca Caucasian friend. DeLoke and another unknown male began yelling racial slurs and screamed that interracial dating is wrong. When the male victim stepped in between DeLoke and the, the woman, DeLoke punched him in the face and kicked him twice in the back. The victim suffered a concussion. DeLoke was arrested October 1st, and authorities are still trying to find the other attacker. Looks like Lorraine is still in the Halloween spirit. Lorraine, are you cooking? Oh, thank you, ladies. Peace and love. Um, for your Halloween treats this time of year, I have some brownies, but I know some of you guys enjoy cookies and cakes and cupcakes, but I... Um, Definitely brownies. enjoy brownies and apparently yeah. so does she. So um, it's really easy to make. It's only, it only takes 20 minutes. You can buy this at a supermarket. Just add some chocolate chip and some cane sugar when they're done. Um, it's very simple. I'll put the recipe online for you guys. And well, that's about it. Hey, hey, yeah, what's your name? Man? Let's go get our trick thank on. You. You yeah? All right. <coughs> well, thank you for having me, guys. You have a wonderful day. Thanks, Lorraine. Stay tuned after these commercial breaks. Do you want to learn how to dance? Well, buy this DVD now and we'll teach you how to duggy. We'll teach you how to jerk. You'll learn how to moonwalk and even shuffle. That is four Funky Fresh dance moves. And if you call within the next five minutes, you can get the exclusive bonus tracks and learn how to Charlie Brown, how to get low and even how to pop, lock, and drop it. That is seven new moves you can take to the floor for only eight payments of $5.99. Must call within the next five minutes or payments will increase to $20.99. Rock and pink this week for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Together, we can find a cure. Wow, I was struck by a car when she drove a go-kart vehicle into traffic. The 67-year-old woman was with her family at Saturn Swap Meet at the Beach Boulevard in Sarias Avenue. She was lost control of the go-kart and swerved onto Beach Road Bar where she was struck by the car. She was pronounced dead at the arrival at, at the Western Medical Center. Still in the Halloween spirit, let's check in with Xavier for a few safety tips. Sorry. Hey little dudes! We're trying to give you guys the best advice for how to be safe for Halloween. First of all, if you're walking down by the streets, try to avoid dark streets. It's not safe. And my boy Travis has here another advice. Tell him, Travis. All right, candy. Everyone wants to get candy. But you know what? Stay away from the candy that's out of the wrapper. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do, little dudes. All right, Peter, what else advice do you have for them? Stay away from dark houses. Houses that are really, really no light, dark, stay away. And if you see Megan's Law signs in front of the house, that's a big no-no. Stay away from those houses, kids. So there you go, kids. Try to be safe for this Halloween and have a happy Halloween. Now let's rock on. The California elections are finally wrapping up. Republican candidate Meg Whitman and Democratic candidate Jerry Brown are pulling all the stops before the booths open up tomorrow. A couple goals for Whitman is to improve the educational systems for kindergarten to 12th graders, retain entertainment jobs in California, and reduce government spending. A few of Brown's plans consist of making a third of energy from renewable sources, focusing on equal rights for the people, and protecting the environment as well as development. Today, both candidates will be making the last of their stops here in Southern California, from the Valley to San Diego, and will be heading back upstate for the votings tomorrow. For more information on the candidates, visit their websites at www.megwhitman.com and www.jerrybrown.org. 
Thank you for tuning into KBCH. Please be sure to join us Thursday for your weekly Thursday morning news. I'm Priscilla Dela Cruz. And I'm Wayne Harrison. Have a good day, everyone. <laughs>